um, yeah, you know, there's definitely, there's definitely changes, but, uh, it is what it is and we just got to deal with it for a few months. Christian, can you share some of what you guys were told? Like the NBA is in such a bubble. You guys are not as in as strict a bubble, but like, you going out for lunch or are you just staying in the room the whole time? What, what have your instructions been? Uh, I mean, we're not really supposed to, um, we can get stuff to go, but we're not really supposed to hang out in any restaurants or anything like that. And it's kind of on us just to stay healthy and make sure that, uh, we keep passing those COVID tests every other day and, um, owe it to each other and teammates and, uh, just take responsibility for this shortened season and, and make sure we all make it through. Christian, there's usually so much like emotion and pomp and circumstance and excitement going into opening day. What's it like going into this one in, in such a weird, strange, different year? Uh, it's going to be a quiet opening day, probably. I mean, we're going to have another team and it'll be opening day, but uh, we'll see if it has this. I don't know if it'll have the same energy and atmosphere and all that, but uh, something that we're expecting, prepared to deal with. And um, it's definitely exciting, though, to, to play some games that count and uh, get back to semi-normal year. Christian, do you feel ready personally with the opener tomorrow? Yeah, as ready as we're going to be. Um, you know, it is, it's a, a shortened camp, and everybody knew that coming in. And uh, feel healthy, feel ready to go, so excited to get started. Christian, you've uh, – not like last night was your first home run of your career. Um, it was off of a nasty lefty, and uh, – um, how good did that one feel, especially, you know, the way you were struggling for a while in camp? Uh, I wasn't struggling. I was just doing my best Bob Euchre impression. He wasn't there. So um, we had to make sure that he was able to to be a part of that somehow. So I took it upon myself to to try and reenact some of his ABs. And, um, <laughs> but the last couple of days, we finally started feeling a little bit better and um, – made progress I felt like every day the results really weren't there but the, the comfort level was starting to come back and um, hopefully we uh, we got it figured out before uh, opening day and uh, the homer made it there right at the buzzer. Chris, just a, so just a 50th anniversary tribute to you Carl well you didn't tell us that ahead of time. It was a, yeah, it was a surprise. <laughs> Christian, there have been some reports of last-minute talks about maybe expanding the playoffs to 16 teams this year. I didn't know if you had an opinion one way or another, if you liked the playoff format the way it was, or if you'd be open to ex to expand. I think it'd be great. Uh, it's, a, it's a different kind of year. It's a shortened year, and I think it'd be a great way to keep uh, fan bases engaged throughout the entire season. And I think if you had, I think, what did you say, eight teams from each league? making it uh, you'd have a really tight race all the way down to the last day of the season uh, I think there'd be a lot of teams in it within a game or two of each other going into that final day. Chris I want to ask this carefully so it doesn't seem like I'm making light of it but we've asked all the guys about playing in empty stadiums and stuff like that and Logan kind of joked well I played you know for the Rays and Marlins so I'm used to it but in all seriousness and not trying to take a shot at like Miami or anything like that but is there, when you're going into to a park that's kind of sparsely populated, is there a different feeling? Is it a little bit tougher? Like, what was that like? Uh, it's tougher when you're the, the team that does it every day. Um, when you're the team that just, you know, the season gets long and it grinds on you a little bit when you're the team that's playing in the empty ballpark every day. When you're the visiting team and you go there for three, four days, it's not really that big of a deal just because it's a small part of your, your thing. You're there to play the games and um, try and win it and you're out and you go play in like for us we go play back in Miller Park or something where there's 45,000 fans and we're good so when you're the visiting team it's not that big of a deal when you're the home team and, and you're the team that wears it um, day in and day out and you go out there and there's nobody there um, you got to find ways to get yourself up and, and get motivated to play and that's what we did there that's you know when you're playing in Miami um, you know, you'd use your teammates or yourself. To, you'd find ways to, to motivate yourself and, and to go out there in, in an atmosphere that um, is different from, from a lot of places in the league. And, um, you know, that's going to have to apply to this year because obviously there's no fans and um, you're going to have to find ways to, to get yourself up. Would it be a stretch then to say that that kind of that experience maybe will help you a little bit going forward this year? Uh Potentially. I mean, even then, there, there's some people, there's some atmosphere. Um, 
but yeah, I think you just, I just understand what it's going to be like and what it, what that feels like to an extent. And, and guys have gotten used to it. I mean, we've, we've done the last three weeks that way and kind of understand what it's going to be like. And uh, it is what it is. You can't use it as an, as an excuse and just have to realize that it's there and every, every team in the league is dealing with it. So um, the ones that adapt and find a way to, to get themselves ready to play are the ones that are going to be successful. Christian, when you uh, when you were mic'd with Sophia on that that first inner squad, it was really interesting to hear you in the middle of it talk about how you were unhappy with your timing. I don't know if that was fun for you to have to <laughs> talk through it right on the air. Um, but in your experience, uh, something like last night where you square one up, can it be as simple as one swing that gives you that good feeling again? Yeah, it comes and goes, um, kind of when it pleases. And some years it comes back faster than others, and sometimes it just doesn't come for a really long time and uh, other years it takes three at bats so you just never really know and you're just working through it and, and kind of trust in the process but um you know I guess you guys kind of got to see parts of it that you usually wouldn't get to see like that stuff's not broadcast and you wouldn't be as involved as um normal but that's not anything really out of the ordinary I guess at least for myself um that's kind of how I approach games and work and uh, you just usually don't get to hear all the, the expletives and <laughs> everything that goes into it. But uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's a baseball is a, a tough game and it, it's, it's a lot harder than it looks. And there's moments where it's a, it's a grind up there and it's a grind for everybody. And um, that's what makes this game special is you just, you're, everybody's always trying to stay on top of it and try and find that way. And, um, those are the battles you fight throughout the season and, and before the season and, and, and then never get easier. Yeah, Christian, uh, advice for the Cubs hitters tomorrow facing Brandon Woodruff? Yeah, he's got great stuff. He's, he's, uh, we're excited to have him start opening day for sure. Uh, it's well-deserved, and hopefully it's the first of many for him. Um, our guys have looked great, though. Burns has looked awesome. House has looked, House looked really good last night. Um, bullpen guys everybody everybody everybody's looked looked awesome um you know everybody I guess you hear the talk about how we don't have any pitching but I, all of us are talking about how that doesn't really make any sense we don't think that we doesn't really make any sense to us we think that we really believe in our guys out there on the mound and think they they can do a great job and have done a great job um, they might not be household names yet but we're, we're really confident that they're going to give us a great chance to win every night and um, looking forward to watching them this year Christian, being back in left field, is it kind of like riding a bike? You, you, you feeling back at home out, out there? Yeah, it's been, it's been nice. Um, you know, still getting used to the, the ball coming back at you from, from a different um, direction. But definitely feels familiar, and it's a place that I definitely feel more comfortable at. And just getting the bearings again, getting used to playing in the, the three-deck stadiums and, and reading the ball off the bat and the different backdrops. Um, of each stadium and and it's nice to be back out there. How much did it help to have a game last night instead of just a show and go and it's opening day at Wrigley? Yeah, it was nice to ease back into it and and, and play a different team, play in a different stadium and uh, get a different field than just playing at home. And I think we're going to Wrigley or practice here in a couple hours. So it'll be nice to be out there and just kind of feel like a regular season. I mean, we're waking up in a hotel today. It's a, it's not the normal routine that you'd have on a, on the road in a regular season, but uh, you're definitely getting that feel, I guess, of just back in a, a semi road routine or the, the feel of the season. The pregame routine, just not being able to be in the clubhouse as often as y'all are accustomed to having to spend more time outside. Is that something you've kind of adapted to from these intra squad games and the exhibition game, or is it going to be a, kind of a whole new level of adjustment now that the regular season has begun. It hasn't been too bad, but you just got to deal with it. I mean, there's nothing we can do about it that you have to abide by it and you have to find a way to, to prepare and get, get ready to play. And it's definitely not regular or how you would really go about it in a normal season, but it's really not too big of an inconvenience. And we've had these three weeks to get used to it and, and see what it's going to be like. And, go from there honestly and like I said earlier about the fan thing is that you can't use it as an excuse it is what it is it's the same for everybody and you just got to adapt. Christian do you have any comments about Ryan playing one game and getting on the opening day roster? 
Uh, I mean, he said he's ready and, and feels good and is ready to go. He said he doesn't need a lot of at bats. So uh, hopefully he's he's healthy and ready to go and, uh, and he can help us win some games. Christian, uh, playing two weeks of inter squad games against your own team, th does that make a hitter feel a little un more unsettled than coming out of a regular camp with 30 exhibition games against other teams? Like, it's just a, such a weird way to prepare. Does it make you feel a little more unsettled going into the season? I mean, I definitely, you're right about it. It's not being, it's not the normal preparation time. It's not how you'd usually go about getting ready for a season, but it's what we had. It's what we got to deal with. And uh, for the most part, it's just getting your body in shape and getting ready to play every day and, and, and bounce back, you know, night game after day game. And we, we simulated that and playing back to back to back days and just getting those feels. And I think we're able to accomplish that. Uh, we knew going in, you're not going to have whatever it is, the 28 to 30 spring training games you'd usually have before a season. Um, it is what it is, though. And, and then, like, with all these things, it's like, hey, it's not an excuse. Everybody had the same amount of time. We're all in the exact same boat. So it's about finding a way. And I think everybody's prepared to play. Uh, you know, nobody said that they feel unprepared or they're not ready to go. I think we're all we're all fine. We're all ready to go. And, and we're excited for uh, the first real one tomorrow. Christian, how do you view your uh, role in like giving people some relief from the pandemic and entertainment? And they look forward, obviously, to seeing you and hearing Bob and stuff like that versus putting yourself and your teammates at risk with what's going on. I feel like we all feel pretty comfortable about participating. I, I, I wouldn't say that um, anybody has any objections or uneasy feelings about being here, um, especially seeing how it's been run the last three weeks. It's been pretty smooth and we're excited to be back out there. It's not going to be the normal fan experience that you'd get being able to come to the, the stadium and watch the team and, and be a part of it that way. But just to be out there will be great. Uh, yeah, I've seen some of these games on TV, and it, it feels like a normal game kind of when you're watching it just without the fans. And the main difference is when you're in the stadium. It's, it's a lot quieter, and there's not that same atmosphere. But as far as watching it from a fan standpoint, it'll be pretty pretty much the same as a, as a regular year so. Um, we're excited to be back out there and, and provide some entertainment, especially in a, what's been a tough year in, in 2020. Christian, thanks a lot for uh, joining us, and uh, we're sure that you appreciated your tribute. Yeah, he's a great guy, man. So, you know, just, just doing anything we can to include him in the season.